and I look forward to, to much conversation. All right, so, Preston, I want to pick up where we um, uh, kind of promised we would uh, on a very good tip okay. that we can give people because I don't know, you said you have teenage daughters at home, right? Right, right. They don't ever slam the door or wing throw the door open. I know young men, I have three sons, and they uh -huh. never slam the door open and damage the drywall or, you know, ever did anything that damaged the drywall at all. <laughs> I mean, my kids were just perfect yeah. with that. And, of course, I've never done anything that I can think of that damaged any drywall. So... But anyway, for those out there that have actually had that issue, ha ha, look at my nose grow. Preston, how can they fix that? Yes, or they have relatives over during Christmas, you know, and you have Cousin Eddie that, you know, and things get out of hand. Cousin and Eddie, where did that come from? <laughs> Somebody's uh, fist goes through the wall or, you know, uh, fixing what? holes in drywall. Turkey wasn't done, huh? <laughs> there you go, there you go. I have seen somebody that put a frame around the hole and, like, made it, like, this was Christmas, uh, 2010. <laughs> Hole in drywall, you know, like uh, yeah, okay. oil. Oh, yeah. nah, come on! <laughs> I'm not Seriously? kidding. I, I give them an A for creativity. Wow. But, yeah. Well, most of us want to fix those holes in drywall, um, and basically, you, you've got to classify. There's three different types of fixes, depending on if it's a small, medium, or large hole. And what I mean by a small hole, if you can't put your thumb through it, it would be a small hole. Um, very easy to fix. Basically, you're going to get some spackle, and you're going to spackle it, uh, you know, with uh, one of the, uh, I can't remember right now, but the, the little uh, knife, putty knife. Spackle it, uh, get a wide sloth, 24 hours to dry, sand it, put another coat, spackle it, sand it, and you're ready to paint. Um, if the paint's faded, you can usually take a paint chip to uh, one of the paint places, and they can match it up. Oh, good. Now, if it's a medium hole, which is bigger than, I mean, you can put your thumb in it, but you can't put your fist in it. They sell a uh, drywall patch, um, and it's basically, you pull it off, it's like a little screen, and it's adhesive, um, and it just fits right over the patch. And what that's going to do is you just put it over it, and it's kind of a screen, so then when you put the, uh, the, the spackle or mud uh, joint compound, it, the screen catches it. Now, you might have to Put it on there, let it set up, sand it, maybe two to three times with 24 hours between each time. And you want to get wider each time to spread it out. So then you're ready to paint, same as before. Now the last one, big hole. Those <laughs> you put your were on Shark Tank that came up with that, I think. Oh, really? I think yeah. I remember watching yeah. that episode. Yeah, it's awesome. I wish they would have had that when I was in college. I might could have got some of my uh, deposit money back. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's a whole different show there. Um, Large hole, uh, bigger than your fist. What you're going to have to do here um, is you're going to have to go buy a scrap piece of drywall. Um, you can get it at Lowe's Home Depot. And you want to measure the hole, get the, the longest diameter each direction, and then measure, you want to cut a square, the, the drywall, uh, your scrap drywall. So once you have the scrap drywall in a square, you're going to put that over the hole and trace over it on the wall. So then you're going to come back with a little, uh, you can get a... Uh, a drywall knife it has little serrated edges, and you want to cut along that line and basically okay, so, create so what, that well, I want to clarify. So what you're saying is, you cut the patch first, not cut the hole and measure the patch. So you're actually cutting the patch and tracing around the outside of the patch to cut into the wall. That is correct. Okay. The versus the, the other way. Right. The so patch I'm, I'm just has like to be anything that fits. Right. Right. The patch the just way. has to be larger than the hole at its largest right. diameter, but you don't want to be much bigger than that. Now, so now you've, you're about halfway through, but you've got to get something that's going to hold that patch in there. There's a couple of different ways to do this. Um, one of the most popular ways is to actually take a little scrap piece of wood, um, kind of a finishing piece of wood, and put behind the drywall. And basically what you will do is fit it behind it and put two drywall screws to hold it so it goes across the hole, the opening. So then you put the patch piece in there, and you also put screws in. So you basically got a piece of wood holding it in there. Ah. Yep. And then you're going to come back with a drywall tape around the edges of the patch. Uh, you're going to have to put joint compound, put the tape down, put joint compound over it, and then basically 24 hours, let it set up. And obviously you're trying to smooth it out the best you can. 24 hours, sand it down, 
do it again until you get a nice smooth you know transition widening it each time and then come back and paint so if you have a crazy holiday party um, you need some help with that feel free to call us or email us i can i can talk you through it <laughs> yeah so you need to create a youtube video of these three things yeah yeah that would be that would be a good thing I mean, i'm not committing there. you to it <laughs>